Hey everybody, I want to show you on this project how I tile, this is a nice little lean right here, how I tiled the shower curve that you're seeing behind me. It actually was a pretty easy project, let me show you how I did it. This is episode seven in my bathroom remodel series in which I took the half bath you just saw and completely converted it into the full bathroom you're seeing now. So check out my channel if you wanna see more projects as part of that build. But for today's project, we're gonna be tiling the Schluter shower curb that we installed. Um, as you can see, this is prefabbed. I cut it to size and installed it. Um, if you haven't done that yet, you can check out my previous video, but this video specifically is gonna focus on the tiling. So to get started, I took my full size tile, which is a 12 inch by 24 inch marble look um, tile, and I put it up on the side of the curb and pushed it all the way up against the wall, leaving about a 16th of an inch gap. Once I had it positioned where I wanted it, I went around to the other side and I took a Sharpie and I just scribed along the wall and also the top of the curb so that I know where I would make my cuts to keep it flush with both of those. So here's a look at where the marks are on the tile. After I had those in place, I took it downstairs to my wet saw and basically just cut right along the line to make sure that I had a perfectly cut tile that would work for that first piece on the actual shower curb. So just rotating it here and kind of cutting out that L-shaped notch um, that we're gonna install on the curb in just a minute. Okay, so taking the tile we just cut, went back upstairs and we just did a quick dry fit. Everything looked good. It was completely flush with the top of the curb there. And you can see I'm using one ace inch spacers at the bottom. So I'm taking my tape measure and I'm doing the exact same thing. I'm measuring the distance between the wall and the curb, subtracting the one eighth inch spacer that's gonna go in the middle there. So grabbing the height, took it down to my table saw and here I am performing a dry fit. So as you can see, I'm performing the dry fit now. I have the 1 8 inch gap in between the two tiles, which will be for the grout line. And I also maintain the 16th inch gap against the wall. So for the top of the curb, you're gonna wanna install some edging trim to make sure that the cut edges of the tile are not exposed. So it makes it a little bit cleaner. And so to do this, I'm cutting at the full length of the curb and I'm also mitering the sides and you'll see why later. So to cut the trim, I'm using a miter saw equipped with a metal blade. Um, so I'm cutting actually some profile that I use for my shower niche, which is why it's black, but it's the same thing, it's aluminum. Um, just make sure that you wear eye protection when you cut this because some fragments can fly off. So after you have cut the tile edging, it's now time to cut the top tiles that are gonna go on the top of the shower curb. So in order to do this, you're gonna need a couple different thicknesses of the various components of the curb. So in order to determine the top tile width, I put together this schematic that you're seeing. So here's a final product showing the tile trim on both sides. And the way you're gonna actually calculate the top tile width is you're gonna take your Schluter curb thickness plus the side tile thickness times two because you have the two sides obviously. And then you're gonna minus the tile profile thickness again times two because you have it on both sides. Following that formula, I went ahead and I made my cuts and I don't love the edge there. I don't have the best wet saw, so you can see a little bit of chipping, um, but it will be covered up mostly by the grout. Um, but again, just follow that formula and cut out your two top pieces. So here I am transposing the measurement that I got from um, the formula that I talked about previously, making my mark, cutting it on the tile saw, and then putting in the second piece at the top. I'm keeping the 1 8 inch gap in the middle there for the grout line to keep it continuous all the way throughout and also have the 16th inch gap at the wall. So here's a quick view of where we are so far and there's a quick zoom in on the miter to edge just as a reminder. So moving on to the inside of the shower here, we're going to have to go ahead and make our measurements to determine the cuts we're going to need to fit um, beneath the top tile there and also keep the 1 8 inch gap at the bottom of the shower pan. So here I am making those measurements and then once I have those for both sides, I'm going to go ahead and transpose those to the tile like you're seeing me do here and then it's just a matter of making those cuts and just dry fitting them to make sure that your cuts were done correctly. Um, again, you're gonna wanna keep that 16th inch gap at the wall, and you're gonna wanna put your 1 8 inch spacers on the bottom of the, uh, the shower pan because you'll end up caulking that gap later on. So again, final measurements, made the cut, and at this point, I'm done with the dry fit. 
And what I'm showing you here is the gap uh, along the wall. It's a little bit bigger than I would like, but it's not an issue because the wall tile that we're gonna install later is gonna cover that up no problem like I'm showing there. So at this point, uh, I went ahead and I mixed up my thin set uh, to maintain the warranty of my Schluter system. I use Schluter All Set. So make sure that you uh, mix that up per the ratios that are specified by the manufacturer. So here I am taking the Schluter All Set and mixing it up again per the manufacturer's recommendation. So at this point, I have a quarter inch by 3 16th inch V-notch trowel that I use to actually apply the thin set. And at this point, you're gonna wanna just comb your notches in all in the same direction and then apply your tile. So here I am just installing the side tiles there and inserting the 1 8 inch spacers. And then I moved along with the, uh, the thin set on the top of the actual Schluter curb. Then I took my tile profile and I put it on and then uh, just cemented it in with the thin set there and then applied the remaining thin set to the other side. So as you can see here, I switched over and put in the side pieces of tile on both sides. Um, again, putting in my spacers at the bottom and then in the middle. And then I moved on to the top. So I put that first one in. In hindsight, I should have put the profile in first, um, but it worked out anyways. And then I had that last spacer in the middle before putting that last tile on the top. So I went ahead and I cleaned everything with a sponge to make sure I didn't have any thin set drying. And, uh, and once that's done, 90% of your work is completed. So one of the most critical steps of this whole shower curb tile installation is to make sure that the tiles on the top are sloped in towards the shower. So if any water builds up on the top there of that tile, it will drain back into the shower. And you can achieve this angle by just applying a little bit more thin set on one side of the tile so it goes back in. Now at this point, I used the Spin Doctor um, tile spacer system to make sure that there was no tile lippage between the two adjacent tiles to make sure it was all in the same plane. And I installed that as you can see there. Um, at this point, it was just the final checks to make sure everything was plumb. And then here's why I cut the 45 degree miter. It was so when I ran the second piece of profile up the wall, it would make a nice clean connection at that inside corner. And I used a laser level to determine the location of that last piece of tile profile trim. And then I went ahead and used some mortar and some tape to mount it to the wall like you're seeing there. So at this point, the installation is complete. All that's left to do is you need to go back later once everything has dried, do your cleanup, apply your caulk um, to all the seams, both on the inside and the outside. And the last thing we did was apply epoxy grout and there'll be a separate video for that. So here's a look at the final product. Overall, pretty happy with how it turned out. A Little bit of cleanup work to still be done, but overall looks pretty good. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you out, or at least gave you some ideas of what you might do differently on your shower curb installation, please drop a like down below and also leave any of your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to answer each one of those. If you guys wanna see how I did the rest of the projects in this bathroom, like how I tiled this herringbone shower or made this weird plant thing, or uh, how I did this floating vanity here, please subscribe to the channel. I have a bunch more content coming your way. Thanks.